Football, the beautiful game, held together by these guys. Referees. I will be following two referees across different areas of the game, as well as sharing my own experiences. Overall asking why there's a decline in referees. I'm Jack Monaghan and this is Those With The Whistle. Eleven aside, the most played format of football, but also where the most problems occur. Referees are often sent to ref the game by themselves. But this means anything can happen whilst they're there. They may have a good game, they may have a bad game, but either way, they're exposed. I met up with local referee Andy Benner before a charity game at the city ground. I wanted to find out what are the positives and negatives of refereeing and why he thinks there's a decline in referees. So why do you think there's a decline in referees? I think there's a decline in referees up, up and down the country, um, based upon grassroots level. Um, the younger refs are getting sort of put off with um, the way they're treated on the pitch by players, um, even so managers. Um, so grassroots level is the level where, where people need to come through. Um, to start refereeing, um, and that just filters um, to the top really. If there's not enough coming through at the bottom, then we're going to be struggling for referees going forward. What would you say is your worst experience refereeing? Um, I wouldn't say I've had worse experiences. I would say that um, typically at certain games you get more pressurised off players, uh, managers, and even spectators as to what decisions that you've made. Um, you are quite vulnerable when you do Sunday morning football because you are on your own. Um, in the middle of nowhere sometimes on a pitch that um, if players want to attack the ref they can do. Um, luckily enough I've not had that problems but there's even things like social media that um, people tend to put things on social media about referees. I just think it's uncalled for really. So forgetting the negatives, what would you say is the positive side to refereeing? The uh, positive side um, is you know when you go out there and do a game or ref a game um, you know that you've put your 100, 110% in and both teams are happy with the decisions. Um, I think, in all fairness, at the end of the season, if you've had a good season, you, know, you get cup finals, um, so it's a chance for you to sort of go out there and enjoy the day a bit more, as opposed to sort of worrying about a Sunday morning game or a Saturday afternoon game that you're going to get pressurised. Um, so, yeah, you know, if you get cup final in the season, that's your reward. Um, but um, ultimately, if you know in yourself you've had a good game and both teams are happy, I think that's, that's good in yourself, really. So how do people compare Premier League to grassroots level? Uh, well, players um, they tend to think that they're the best players in the world and they're playing the Premier League every week. Um, so obviously, as a referee perspective, um, they expect the same from the referees in the Premier League. Unfortunately, it's not that way. Um, a, a lot of things you see in the Premier League or you know in, in the high leagues of people diving and, and ultimately trying to gain an advantage from the referee by maybe say cheating or that's a little bit of a harsh word really um, it does filter down to grassroots level um, and people see things on television um, and think that they can do the same at grassroots level so it's a difficult scenario for a referee um, to actually be put in that position because at the end of the day you know we're not Premiership referees we're you know, we're county FAs that are trying to progress through the ranks. Next, I went to Nottingham High School to watch some futsal and meet up with local referee Will Thompson. I wanted to find out from Will what his best and worst experiences of refereeing are, as well as why is there a decline in referees? So, Will, why do you think there's a decline in referees? Um, personally, I think it's, it's, it's seen nowadays as a, a bit of an undoable job. Um, a lot of referees are, are subject to a lot of abuse. Um, it's, it's, it's not not so much there's a decline in that referees coming into the game. I think it's a decline in referees staying in the game because of their experiences on the pitch at the grassroots level. Uh, and it's as simple as that. It's such a hard job to do, um, and we get a lot of abuse from and, and a lot of scrutiny from players, managers who've never really done the game. They see it from one side, whereas you know a lot of them don't really know the rules of the game.
Uh, what would you say is your worst experience as a referee? It's nice and easy one. Uh, assault. Uh, I've been assaulted twice um, through making the correct decision, but one that they didn't agree with or didn't want to agree with. Um, so I've been punched once. The guy served six months in prison, and um, the second one was a, a volley of abuse, headbutts, punches. Again, through bad attitudes, um, not wanting to accept decisions, which is what I said earlier. It's it's so hard being a referee. It's with a lot of them don't understand the rules, uh, and we're doing our job. And yeah, unfortunately, that's probably the worst case scenario. Did that not put you off? It made me consider giving up, certainly. Um, but I think what I did, I just left that environment uh, or, or reduced the, the amount of games I was doing in that format of football. Um, because it's you know I, nobody gets paid enough to to receive that. What would you say is your best experience as a referee then, Will? Um, I think I've got several. So uh, refereeing on professional grounds, even though it is in charity matches, it's such an honour to to referee in such big stadiums. Uh, I think my my highlight of my refereeing career has come uh, last season, where I was appointed to the Nottingham Varsity Futsal match, uh, which is the biggest in the UK referee in front of 500 fans, um, the atmosphere is crazy, uh, I think that's my, my highlight so far. How do you think uh, media coverage is affecting the way a referee makes a decision? It's, it's a lot tougher for referees, certainly at the top, because they are um, they're scrutinised for every in minute detail, uh, super slow mo replays, um, from hundreds of cameras throughout the throughout the stadium on every decision they make. Um, to a certain degree, it's a little bit easier for us at grassroots level because everybody has the same view uh, at the same time. Um, you know, it, it, I think the, the flip side on that is it, it proves even the best in the country still make mistakes. Um, so it, it has its plus points and it has its negative points. Um, I think there is a need for it because it helps with the referee development as well. After speaking to two referees, I wanted to find out what football fans thought, so I went down to London to the Emirates Stadium. However, on arrival, there was nobody there for me to interview, so I decided to zoom in on a player with the same name as me. The next day was the FA Cup final, so I jumped on the tube and headed to Wembley. I thought loads of people would want to talk to me, but they didn't. And when I did... Yep, the sound didn't work. The chanting from behind was too loud. Great. So instead, I had a walk around, took in the atmosphere, and decided it was time to go home. Six aside, the format of football I used to referee the most. Something I'd go out, enjoy, and earn a bit of money doing. However, one night while I was refereeing, a player decided to get in my face and hurl abuse at me. Although, I didn't think I did anything wrong, and other players on his team didn't even think I did anything wrong. But it's occasions like that, which think, yes, the money's good, but what is the point in refereeing if all you're going to get is abuse? I've had some of it in the past, but the extent that it got to this night, it was just horrible. I felt like I had to defend myself even though I'd done nothing wrong. And the fact that I actually thought that I could get hit at any moment just because this player was overreacting about a decision I made. It's not something that I wanted to go back to, but the more the referees themselves get criticised, the more that they won't want to go back and do it. And then that has a knock-on effect to the standard of refereeing the Premiership, the Championship, because if people don't want to referee, 
and the referees now will one day retire, meaning that there might not be referees if if things like this were happening today continue. I hope you enjoyed this documentary, hearing some of the positives of refereeing, but also the negatives that need to be dealt with. I'd like to thank Andy Benner and Will Thompson I've been Jack Monaghan and this has been Those of the Whistle. Thank you.